I'm an ambassador for, for the next calendar year for pitching in. Having a non-league background, spent five and a half years in sort of non-league grassroots football before I got the opportunity to turn pro, it, it's very close to my heart. So any initiative like this is something that, that wasn't a hard sell basically for me. Pitching in is a grassroots investment programme set up by Entain, which owns the Ladbrokes and Coral brands in the UK. And its rationale was purely and simply to try and put some money into parts of them in sports which needed it most, which is around the grassroots areas, non-elite sport like the Trident Leagues. And we're now three months in and it's going well. I think in the times we're in at the moment that are really testing with the, with the current situation, lack of crowds, all of those type of things, to offer um, you know grants uh, to, to these clubs and whatever that that a lot of them survive on on volunteer basis, you know, um, certainly further down the food chain of football. So I think it's vitally important that that companies like this are stepping forward and offering that lifeline. You've only got to probably look at some of the players. Vardy come from the non-league system, and certainly in, in my era, a lot more players had to dip their toe into the non-league system before they got the opportunity. And so without these initiatives, some of these clubs in these financial times will potentially go bust. These clubs are the heartbeat of the local community. Across those three leagues, you have 250 clubs, each of whom plays a key role in its local community. The concept is dead simple. It's for clubs that want to do community type activities and the key message is no activity is too small. With no money coming in at all through the gate and with their bars shut and their inability to have any entertainment, they would actually zero income so many of these clubs. Gradually they're getting some crowds back now but not lower down the leagues at the moment. And so this is a lifeblood to them. Uh, the odd thousand pound here and there. We're giving grants up to five thousand pounds to these smaller clubs, and it will be really, really money uh, they'll be crying out for. We really need it with some form of grant, to be honest, which is why, uh, let's like, say, such initiatives like this or any initiative that's a grant based that obviously leads to community focus is very welcome. Things like this are really valuable, especially at times when funds are. You know, very limited and quite stretched from from having to eat into all the reserves. It's good, and it's really going to be welcome for the, for the clubs within the league. The timing could not be better. I can absolutely assure you. We've had tough times up to now. I think things, even though fans are starting to be allowed back into certain grounds around the country, I still think we've got tough times ahead going forward. And and all the help we can have as a community for each other, the better. This is just the start. Ambitions are long term, bigger and better, but you've got to start somewhere. And that's why uh, when we met with the Trident Leagues back in April and started discussing uh, the partnership, both in terms of the sponsorship of the Trident Leagues, which we've started, uh, but this foundation, I think this was the aspect which really excited. This is a big moment, a big phase, a big part of the pitching programme. And uh, we're delighted that the Trident Leagues have, uh, have joined us on this journey. Uh, and this is, you know, this, was, this is very much something they were working towards anyway, so I think they're quite pleased that we've got involved as well. It enables clubs to be creative, to come up with uh, come up with ideas that are going to suit their local communities. And if we can make that happen, some of it might be volunteer based. It might be an initiative to help to, to encourage local people to get involved. It's up to each club to uh, decide how it wants to do that. But we're delighted and extremely grateful that we're able to get this off the ground.